turbochargers and superchargers are devices that can dramatically increase the efficiency and the performance of an engine. But how do they actually work? Let's start with the turbocharger. The principle of a turbocharger is simple. The turbocharger is basically a device that forces air into the engine. This way, there is more oxygen inside the engine, which means that fuel can be burned more efficiently. This is why turbocharged engines are more powerful and consume less fuel. But now, how does a turbo do this? Right here you can see my very basic schematic drawing of a turbocharger. A turbocharger has a hot side and a cold side, which are separated from each other. Each side has its own turbine. The two turbines are connected to each other through an axle. The hot side of the turbo is connected to the exhaust of the engine, so when the hot exhaust gases leave the engine, they enter the turbocharger's hot side. This side of the turbocharger can literally get red hot sometimes. Now these exhaust gases rush through the turbine, which is going to rotate. After that, the gases leave the turbo and leave the car, or whatever vehicle, through the exhaust pipe. Now let's go back to that rotating turbine. This turbine is connected to the other turbine in the cold side of the turbo. This means that the second turbo is now also rotating. Because of this, the second turbine sucks fresh air into the cold side of the turbo. It then blows this air into the engine. So basically, a turbocharger is just a compressor that is powered by exhaust gases. Also, when the engine speeds up, it generates more exhaust gases, making the turbo more powerful. So the engine can never outrun the turbocharger. However, there is something called turbo lag. If the engine suddenly speeds up, it takes a little bit of time for the turbo to do so as well. Then there is also the supercharger. In fact, the supercharger does the same thing as a turbocharger, but it does it in a different way. The supercharger doesn't have a hot side. Instead, the compressor turbine is connected to a wheel. This wheel is driven by a belt, which is driven by the engine's crankshaft. So the difference between a turbocharger and a supercharger is that the turbo is powered by exhaust gases and the supercharger is powered by the engine itself. The advantage of the supercharger is that there is no lag. When the engine speeds up, the supercharger also immediately speeds up with zero delay. So there you go. Now you know how turbochargers and superchargers work. Normally this would be the end of the video, but I've got one more thing to say, just a little practical message. Akio TV now has a custom URL, so if you want to navigate to the, uh, to the channel quickly, you can just go to youtube.com slash TV. And now there's only one thing left to say. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.